What's going on, folks, and welcome back to another Scum video. I hope we're all doing well. As always, thank you very much for the ongoing support on the channel. If you haven't smashed that thumbs up, please do, guys. Much appreciated. Now, before we go into everything, obviously, you guys know I've been playing a bit of New World, and now it's always nice to have a break from your core game. Now, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but hey, I'm in a good place. I'm enjoying the game, and I'm learning a lot from it as well. Um, and certain things that, you know, that could be used within Scum um, that just makes life a little bit easier for everybody. So obviously I'm going to be making, I'm still going to be making all my Scum content, guys. Like I'm still going to be doing my streams. I'm just having a, a, a tiny little break away from Scum for the moment. So don't panic. Scum will be coming back to the channel. Uh, so uh, there's a few things I really want to talk about and I'm going to go through them as quick as I can. As always... I always end up recording my videos twice, and I recorded a 15-minute video. So here's the second one, uh, and hopefully a bit shorter as well. So we're going to go through this. So I want to say, um, you know, a huge thanks to the development team. They have done such a phenomenal a phenomenal job, game players. They have come from a five- to nine-man team to a 50-staff team. You know, like, they have come so far. That is a long, long journey. The last three years, and even before that, they you know, almost lost the game. And to pull this through, they are absolutely phenomenal at what they do. And they take their work to heart and they take their work home as well. They are they are almost like family to me. I have been in talks with them over the last three years and they feel like family. You know, that's... So anything you hear in this video right now is because I have a passion for the game and I want to see it do well. So there's a few topics that I want to quickly go through. Um, and I'm actually going to work my way back because it didn't work the way I was working before. So I'm going to work my way back on my little list of things that I've got notes that I just want to sort of go over. Um, so a massive, massive well done to the dev team for trying to make a, and, and have done a, a an incredibly unique survival, open world survival experience. So firstly, I want to talk about the audio very quickly. The audio right now seems to be very broken uh, within Scum. And, you know, I'm shooting a pistol right next to my next to my friend. He doesn't, you know, they don't hear it at all, but someone 500 meters away will hear it. There seems to be an issue with ambience. The ambient sounds in the game right now, it is very, very quiet um, and almost feels like there is no life. And for me, an ambience, and it's only a personal opinion, guys. It's a personal opinion. Like I said, I've been playing this game since day one. We've like made so many videos on this game. I love this game, but this is just passion opinions, okay? So don't take it personally. Don't hate on me for having my opinion. So the audio, I personally believe, really does need to be fixed. End of story. Um, looking at the cooking side of things. So when we get into the cooking, there's a lot of issues. Now, when I've been playing New World, obviously, we take our food in New World and we go over somewhere and we cook it. That is, and I've spoken to quite a lot of people and they seem to really just like how that is. They don't care if the fire's too hot or too cold. They get their food, they go to the fire, they cook it, it is done. You know, and that is personally, I think it's got to that point coming up to three quarters of the way, because point seven is going to be out soon, uh, three quarters of the way through development and cooking it hasn't even been established, like fully. Um, there's a lot of issues with, with how it works. Now, this game does go into very, very much detail um, in what it does. And sometimes that can overcomplicate things as well. Sometimes if things aren't working, it's nice just to bring it down. So that's what I've got to say about the cooking. Um, looking at uh, the camouflage skill, I personally believe there is no place for the camouflage skill in Scum whatsoever. Just because, look at Daisy, guys. If you don't wear the right uniform or, or the, right, uh, the correct clothing to camouflage within your environment and you go and hide somewhere and you think you're hiding from someone, well, then that's up to you. That's, up, that's your tactic. If you can't hide and you get seen, that's your fault. If you're not wearing the correct uh, clothing, that's your fault. Run out of there or even be more sneaky when you go into an environment where there might be other players as well. Um, before, there used to be a big issue with running into the middle of it. Like, I could sit in the middle of a field. This is an example. I could sit in the middle of a field and someone, a squad would run into that field. I could sit there, they will not see me until I stand up. So I could be crouching in oranges, wouldn't make a difference. They wouldn't see me. And as they, as they run past, I could just rail them all down. Um, but they did take that out. But I do agree with the stealth feature. The higher, the higher your stealth is, um, you know, the less sound that you make as you're running around. I understand that. But the camouflage feature, there should there is no place in the game for anyone to be able to go into a bush or anything like that and just virtually disappear. Um, it's just, it, for an open world survival game, 
it's like if you compare Daisy and Scum, it's kind of like Daisy's a lot more fairer in that in that way. If you get seen, you get seen. In Scum, if you have a camouflage skill, you can just go invisible in a bush. I don't agree with that uh, whatsoever. Uh, the third person peeking within the game is brilliant. The third person peeking is absolutely brilliant. So you know, if unless you're in a squad. Um, if you are in a squad, you can see all your squad friends behind you. If you're not, if they're not in your squad, you can't you can't look behind you. You're not gonna see, you can look behind you, but you're not gonna see them. So you can't third person peek over walls and stuff like that. You have to have line of sight, guys. You have to have line of sight. Um, so I think that is a very very good thing for the game. I'm not sure what's going on with the aircraft. I'm not sure. Um, obviously, the outposts are going to be coming in. That's a big deal as well, because obviously, as most of you guys know, I used to play a lot of armor. I played Daisy. <clears throat> Pardon me. I used to play armor Daisy and stuff like that. Now, I played that from day one. So when I started to see all these mods coming in, all these new servers with traders, it changed the game forever. And I mean changed the game forever. And oh, I'm not even I can't even say if it was a good thing or a bad thing. Um, it was kind of like 50-50 kind of in that respect. Uh, but I personally believe if this is an open world survival experience, it needs to kind of still try and have that because no lifers are always going to get more stuff. And when I mean no lifer, I mean people who play 24 hours, 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, that is the sort of no lifer I'm talking about. Now, if you've got some kind of trader, then, but I don't know. This is just my opinion. Like I said, don't hate me for it. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. Um, and even the uh, the event matches as well. Obviously, we use fame points uh, for spawning, and we, we decrease fame points when we're lockpicking as well. And they did say they were going to take that out at some point, so I'm not sure how this is all going to work out. Is fame points going to be taken away? Is that the, bringing in the economy with the money and the banking system and stuff like that as well, and, and, the, uh, and the trading system? How is this all going to work? We don't know enough yet. Um, I still love the game. I really and truly do. I mean, there's a few things, that obviously, that are going to be coming up soon that's kind of like, how is this going to work? Um, because, obviously, we have the uh, the deathmatch events, and there's been plenty of times I've been in-game, and I've kind of... It's really ripped the atmosphere for me. Now, obviously, while I'm trying to survive, I want to go down to this town, and this happened a few weeks ago, and I wanted to go down into this town, uh, tears no, and suddenly I, I heard all these grenades going off and deathmatches and stuff like that. And obviously where there was audio issues as well, that kind of, I finished the stream at that point. I was kind of like, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the survival. I'm not feeling the ambience, the atmosphere, the audio. It kind of all needs to roll into one um, in that respect. So these, these are just my, my own opinions. Like I said, I'm still going to play Scum, guys. I'm still going to have fun with it. We're still going to do the content, of course. But when you're passionate about something, you're also passionate about the faults of the game and like the pros and the cons of the game as well. But maybe faults or, uh, or faults, shall I say, or shall I just say opinions? These are my opinions. So they don't really matter in that respect. It's a personal thing. Um... That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Other than modular base building is going to be coming in soon as well. There's a lot of issues with mo with base building right now. It takes way too long. People like you know can even start raiding your base even before you've finished it, um, if that's even possible actually. But you know what I'm you guys know what I'm saying like you could have a cabin up. You haven't got your walls done. You got a lock on the cabin. Someone comes up and raids it, and you know new players can't even get that well established um, in that respect. Uh, character creation as well. Um, almost seems very dull. Like I'm, I'm just gonna say it. As I'm just gonna say it. It, it's, it's very dull the way the character creation is. We want more faces. We want more, um, you know, what eye colors, hair, whatever. You know, just give us something new. You know, we need something new. The AI. We've had like three. Uh, we've had like the same puppets for the, like, the last three years. We want something to actually like really fight. And you know, the animals are out there they are a threat but at the same time um they can be quite buggy as well now they have made this map on the unreal engine it's the biggest map on the unreal engine i just really hope if they do see this video to please not take this personally in any way shape or form it's just some of the faults that i find with the game right now um you know it needs to be exciting it needs to bring in more players as well um and also at the same time, it's, you know, there's a lot I feel that still needs to be done, even though we're coming up to three quarters of the way through the game, three quarters of the way through. And I really do feel like there's 
there's a there's a lot more that that needs to be done here so um so yeah guys that's pretty much all i wanted to say um on that matter um so i hope you did enjoy the video um i know there was some pros and cons and you know it's not one of them it's not a negative video it's just hey you know i think things need to be changed um if you want to keep the immersion for the player as well and that is a very, very important thing for most players. You know, it needs to have life. It needs to have the ambience, the audio. Now, Ratco has done some amazing, amazing audio over the years with uh, with game players. Um, but right now, it seems that there needs to be more life with the, with the ambience and stuff. So anyway, that's enough of my ramble for today. I hope you enjoy this video and take something away. Create a discussion and I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe, guys, and have a lovely day. Take care.